right this is a um paypal request re request request from lydia uh and patreon lydia um which to be fair i'm doing a kind of a chris cornell day and it's you should thank her for it because she paypal me and said it's time for some chris cornell and i was thinking because that's the thing i don't never not do artists consciously it's only if other things just take my mind like if i'm going and then it like when people say you haven't done this person for a while you haven't done that i'm like oh, yeah so it's not an actual conscious i'm not doing them it is just a unforgettable and there's so much there's so much in i've got so many things so many different rabbit holes to go through uh, i mean we just started radiohead we just thrown them in the pile and i mean that's a whole world of um research but um yeah this one this is from lydia room of a thousand room of a thousand years wide um and they actually eddie vedder i just watched him and eddie vedder being besties just reacted to that and um eddie vedder brought this tune up i think from their set list and he started reading the set list but anyway let's go That sounds proper. That's like a proper metal spring. Done a minute. This is fucking hard as fuck. Um, because at first I was thinking, who thinks to do that type of melody to this type of track? This is so rock rocky and so crunchy and snappy, and then the long drawn out couple of what well, a uh, couple of lines, and then it went more into yeah, fuck he up the aggression on it. Um. But that backing is hard. Yeah, Soundgarden are just hard as fuck. But let's go. So aggressive.
Yeah. I think this has to be the heaviest. Maybe even over beyond the will that he's sung. Because he's really ripping them vocals out. Like there, that is a proper metal scream. Um, but yeah, let's go. Hold on, let's go back. I couldn't work out that had to be a guitar because at first I thought it was a, a kazoo and then I thought it was like some type of saxophone or something but I'm pretty sure that was a guitar it was just screaming and I could only really tell because it sounded like there was some bended notes um, whatever the fuck that that must have been just a guitar through some type of effect because then I, I was like no that is a guitar but then it went into some like it just sounded so fuzzy like literally like a sax or like the, the first bit of it did I thought that it, the sound garden brought in a kazoo um and especially in a tune like that that was so rock but I'm pretty sure that was just it must have been a guitar with some type of effect on it but yeah, that ending was fire as fuck. Yeah, that was a good tune. That was a good tune. Yeah, that's such a, such an great. Like, I know like a lot of women love Soundgarden. I know that. But there's just such a manliness to their music. Like such a, so I think, well, yeah, an aggressive male energy in their music um, and songs like that and it's been a while since I've heard a song like that from Soundgarden but I kind of knew what I was in store for from the very first note basically as soon as that scream came in I was like alright because he does that less than he as it goes on There's, you, you get less of that real opening up of his vocal cords and he kind of changed um, especially in his like uh, solo it is although I did think that didn't he he was touring again with Soundgarden when he when he died so yeah but yeah that was a great track that was a fucking hard as fuck track but yeah that's the reaction the sweet 